In this video, we will be assembling the Brindley front mount blade, model FB42RY, made for Ryobi riding mowers. Tools required for assembly, a 3 quarter inch socket and wrench, a 9 16 inch socket and wrench, a half inch socket and wrench, a 7 16 inch socket and wrench, a 12 millimeter wrench, a ratchet wrench, pliers, and gloves. Note, each page of the assembly manual has a guide on the edge of the page to help with hardware identification. You can check the bolt size by placing either the head or the threaded end over the matching diagrams on the edges of the page. This section can also assist with identifying washers. These dimensions are a measurement of the internal diameter of the washer. This section can also be used to identify bolts by measuring their length with the ruler at the edge of the pages. Note, for the first step, you will need to remove the hardware from the front of your mower using a 12 mm wrench. Step 1. Unscrew and remove the two skid plate bolts and two sets of washers located underneath the front of your mower. Align the bottom of the mounting plate parallel to the ground and make sure the front of the mounting plate is touching the inside edge of the bumper tubing. Loosely start to attach the mounting plate to your mower by reusing the removed hardware located underneath the front of your mower. Run the U-bolts over the frame and through the holes in the mounting plate and secure in place with two quarter inch washers and two quarter inch nylon lock nuts using a 7 16 inch wrench. Then tighten all hardware. Step two, attach the pivot bracket to the mounting plate by using two quarter inch by one inch carriage bolts and two quarter inch lock nuts. Secure in place with a 7 16 inch wrench. Step three, Blade assembly. Attach the ribs to the blade by passing four 3 8 inch by one inch carriage bolts through the inside of the blade and through the rib, adding a 3 8 inch washer and a 3 8 inch nylon lock nut to each bolt. Note, do not fully tighten yet. These ribs may need to shift slightly during assembly step 11. Also note, ensure the ribs are aligned correctly. The ends with three small cutouts on the rib need to be at the base of the blade as shown. Step 4. Attach the wear bar to the bottom of the blade by passing 5 5 16 inch by 3 quarter inch carriage bolts through the top of the wear bar and through the 5 holes at the bottom edge of the blade. Secure in place on the back side of the blade using 5 5 16 inch nylon lock nuts and tightening with a half inch wrench. Step 5. Install the bolt and nut stops to the blade ribs using 4 3 8 inch by 3 quarter inch hex head bolts and four 3 8 inch nylon lock nuts. Note, the nylon lock nuts need to be on the outside edges of the blade ribs. Tighten using a 9 16 inch wrench and socket. Now, set the blade aside. Step six, push arm assembly. Attach the upper push bracket to the lower push bracket and bottom plate by passing two 3 8 inch by two inch bolts through the two holes in the upper push bracket, the lower push bracket, and the bottom plate. Add two 3 8 inch nylon lock nuts and secure in place with a 9 16 inch wrench and socket. Step seven, attach the pivot weldment to the push arm assembly by passing one half inch by two inch hex head bolt through the center hole of the pivot weldment. Add a washer to the end of the bolt, then pass the bolt through the outside hole of the push arm assembly. Add one thick washer and one half inch lock nut to the bottom and secure in place with a 3 quarter inch wrench and socket. Note, do not over tighten. The two brackets should be able to move freely of one another, but not so loose that there is play in the joint. Step 8A, adding the handle. Rotate the pivot weldment to access the holes at the back of the push arm assembly. Then start to run a 3 8 inch by 3 inch hex head bolt through the first hole of the push arm assembly and add a 3 8 inch hex nut. Note, the external teeth need to be facing away from the head of the bolt. Move the nut down the bolt with a 9 16 inch wrench and socket. Step 8B, align the lower tube handle as shown here and continue to run the hex head bolt through the base of the tube. After the bolt extends through the tube, add one 3 8 inch hex nut with the external teeth facing the lower handle of the tube. Then secure the running bolt through the push arm assembly then rotate the two hex nuts towards the center and secure the lower handle tube within the opening of the push arm assembly as shown. Add one 3 8 inch hex lock nut and secure in place with a 9 16 inch wrench and socket. Step 9. Drop the hitch pin into the center hole of the push arm assembly. 
and secure with a hairpin cotter. Step 10, joining the push arm to the blade. Insert the spacer pivot tubes into the large holes on the lower back part of the ribs on the back of the blade. Step 11, slide the push arm assembly between the ribs and align with the pivot tubes. Attach by passing a 1 half inch by 1 and a quarter inch hex head bolt through the pivot tubes in the rib and the hole at the end of the push arm assembly. Add a 1 half inch nylon lock nut to each bolt. Now tighten the ribs to the blade completely using a 3 quarter inch wrench and socket. Step 12. Attach the spring trip bracket by adding a 3 8 inch flat washer to one 3 8 inch by one and a quarter inch hex head bolt, passing the bolt through the spring trip bracket and through the top hole on the rib. Add a 3 8 inch nylon lock nut and tighten loosely with a 9 16 inch wrench and socket. Note, do not tighten completely yet. Step 13. Mount the trip spring by treading a 3 8 inch by two and a half inch full threaded bolt and a 3 8 inch washer so that the head of the bolt is captured inside the spring. Hook the opposite end of the spring through the pivot weldment. Then insert the bolt through the trip bracket that was installed on step 12. Now tread and tighten the 3 8 inch tooth nut until the spring is touching the bracket. Then fully tighten the nut and bolt that were added on step 12. Step 14. Attach the upper handle tube to the lower handle tube by passing two 5 16 inch by one and a half inch bolts through the lower handle tube and upper handle tube holes and adding a 5 16 inch nylon lock nut to each bolt. Secure in place using a half inch wrench and socket. Then slide the grip over the end of the upper handle tube. Loosely attach the slotted end of the reinforcement bracket to the upper handle tube using a quarter inch by one and three quarter inch bolt and a half inch nylon lock nut. Tighten with a 7 16 inch wrench and socket. Step 15, rotate the base of the reinforcement bracket to align with the lower handle tube. Straddle these two parts with the painted cam weldment as shown and attach by passing a 3 8 inch by two inch bolt through the painted cam weldment, the lower handle tube, the base of the reinforcement bracket and the other end of the painted cam weldment. Add a 3 8 inch lock nut and secure in place with a 9 16 inch wrench and socket. Then fully attach the bolt used to attach the top of the reinforcement bracket on step 14. Congratulations, the assembly is complete on the Brindley front mount blade for Ryobi riding mowers. Step 16, mounting the blade. Face the back of the blade assembly toward the bracket that was installed on your mower in assembly steps one and two. The bush assembly will easily slide within the lower tabs extending from the mower bracket. After aligning the two sets of bracket holes, insert the plated hinge rod pin and secure with two hairpin cotters, one on each end. Step 17. Line up the pivot weldment with the pivot bracket and insert the pin. Secure in place with two hairpin cotters. Operating Tips Operation Tip 1. Transport Position to raise your blade into transport position, pull the upper handle toward the operator. Note, ensure the handle has been pulled back far enough to engage the self-locking feature. Operation tip two, changing the blade angle. Turn the key switch off and engage the parking brake. Simply remove the hairpin beneath the push assembly arm and pull the hitch pin out. Rotate the blade to the desired location and replace the hitch pin, securing in place with a hairpin underneath in order to lock the blade into the position. Note, do not adjust the angle of the blade while in transport position. Storage step one, removing the blade. Turn the key switch off and engage the parking brake, then lower the blade to the ground. Remove the two hairpin cotters and remove the pin from the pivot weldment and pivot bracket. Storage step two, set aside the two hairpin cotters from each end and remove the plated hinge rod. The push arm assembly and mounting bracket will easily separate. Leave the mounting and pivot brackets attached to your mower. For questions, call customer service at 877-728-8224. Brindley, making things better since 1839.